In this video, we'll look at some examples of how to name haloalkane molecules. Haloalkanes are also known as alkyl halides or halogenoalkanes. Haloalkanes are right down the bottom of our list of functional groups. And in fact, they don't really count as a functional group as such, but rather as substituents, a bit like alkyl branches. Let's look at some examples. Haloalkanes are so-called because they have a halogen atom attached to them. The halogens, remember, are the group 7 elements, fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine. When they're attached as a substituent to a hydrocarbon, they are named as fluoro, chloro, bromo and iodo. Let's try naming this first one. The longest carbon chain here is obvious, it's pentane. So next we'll look at the substituents. There are no alkyl groups, only the two chlorine atoms. So we number the chain in order to give the chlorines the lowest possible number. And that will mean numbering from the right. So we will have 2-chloro and 3-chloro. We can indicate that we have two of the same kind of substituent by using di. So instead of 2-chloro and 3-chloro, we call it 2,3-dichloro. And then we put that all together and we have 2,3-dichloropentane. Let's try the next one. Here the main chain is a cycloalkane. It has six carbons, that's why it looks like a hexagon, so it's cyclohexane. Now when you number the carbons in a ring, you can call any carbon you like number one. You're just guided by the need to make the numbers in the final name low. So we have two options. We can start here and make the carbon that the bromine is attached to number one, and then the fluorine one would be number two. Or we could do it the other way around, making it 1-fluoro and 2-bromo. So how do we choose? Well, we have guidelines here. If you have more than one type of halogen and there's no way of deciding which should get the higher priority, you do it by atomic mass. The heavier the halogen atom, the higher its priority. So here, bromine is a heavier atom than fluorine, so we're going to go with our first numbering option, which will give us 1-bromo and 2-fluoro. Now, when we're putting the name together, we have to fall back on the rule that we already know, that substituents in the name should be ordered alphabetically. So bromo will come before fluoro in the name. So the complete name is 1-bromo, 2-fluoro, cyclohexane. OK, last example. Longest chain, seven carbons, and there is a double bond, so we begin uh, by calling it heptene. Next, we'll number the chain. Here, we've got a functional group that's going to change the suffix of the name, the alkene. So we have to number the chain so that the alkene gets the lowest possible number. That means numbering from the right, uh, so it will be hept2ene. Continuing the number, we find that the two iodine atoms are joined onto carbon number 6. So our final name will be 6,6-diiodohept2ene. 6, 6